Good morning, everyone. So today is the first Sunday of the month, and uh, we will be uh, preparing our hearts to take part from Lord's table. So I would like to read a couple of verses, then uh, uh, expound on it a little bit, and uh, pray together and take part from the Lord's table. So in connection to communion this morning, to prepare our hearts, uh, to give our us the thoughts of Jesus Christ, his suffering, his uh, death on the cross, you know, the body that was broken for us, the blood that was shed for us. To remind us one more time, I would like to read uh, 1 Peter uh, chapter, uh, chapter 3, verse 18. Here we read, For Christ also suffered once for sins, just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. So here we read that Christ also suffered once for our sins. The amazing thing is his sacrifice was once and for all sacrifice. You know, Old Testament, uh, we read that priests were standing day and night to uh, sacrifice animals for man's sin, but they could not find a permanent solution for man's sin. And uh, we read that blood of bulls and goats uh, could not find a permanent solution for man's sin. Blood of bulls and goats could only cover man's sins. Uh, but when you come to uh, First John chapter 2, we read that blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all unrighteousness. See, the Old Testament, uh, the animal sacrifice was a temporary solution, like putting a Band-Aid, but inside is still sinful. But in New Testament, Christ's death, once and for all, a unique sacrifice, no more sacrifice needed. And that is a permanent solution uh, because he did it. And that's it, and that's once for all. And all what we had to believe was, uh, do was to believe in Him. You know, all the other work He did on the cross. So it's it's a once and for all sacrifice. Again, you read here the same verse. Next line, you read, "Just for the unjust." So He was the just man. We were unjust people. We were sinners. But Christ, we read that He knew no sin, but became sin for us. He became sin for us. For what, for what reason? Why he became sin for us? Why did he die on the cross? Why was his body broken on the cross? Why did he shed his blood for us? And again, continuing that verse you read, so that he might bring us to God. That's the only purpose, to bring us back to God, God the Father. Now we are part of God's family. We were alienated from uh, God, uh, his family, because of our own sins. God, uh, you know, it's an amazing plan. He sent Jesus Christ to bring us back to God. And now we can call him Father. Old Testament, you read that, um, you know, you see that Israelites cannot call God Father. They were, you know, afraid of God. They would only call God. Uh, but in New Testament, it's much more personal that we can call God Father because we are His children. You know, it's a ministry of reconciliation. He reconciled us back to God the Father and an amazing mediator, mediator between God and man, man Christ Jesus. He is interceding for us in the heaven. It's, isn't that amazing? And this morning we are here to worship him, to take part from the Lord's table because of his wondrous work on the cross, because he became a mediator between God and man to bring us back to God's family. So uh, let's meditate on this thought as we prepare to take part from the Lord's table. I would ask all the ushers to come forward. And after that, the congregation can come through the middle aisle and then go back to collect the emblems and go back to your seat um, through the side. And hold on to the elements, and then uh, we'll pray and take part from the Lord's table. Let's pray now. Lord, our Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning. Lord, another reminder of your death on the cross and what we never deserved, Lord. Uh, it was a gift. Salvation we received is a gift, O oh Lord. We were unjust people, O oh Lord, and you are the just one. We were sinners, but you were you knew no sin and you became sin for us, O oh Lord. 
Your body was broken for our sins, the Lord. Blood that was shed for us, the Lord, cleansed us from all our unrighteousness so that we don't need to uh, go uh, to priest for sacrifices, the Lord, but you did it once for all, the Lord. Perfect sacrifice, a unique sacrifice, the Lord, and uh, we are part of God's family, the Lord. As we take part from this uh, bread that represents your body and uh, that was broken for us and the juice that uh, represents the blood that was shed for us, the Lord, we pray that you prepare our hearts and be thankful to you, you for what you've done on the cross, the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So reading from 1 Corinthians um, chapter 11, verse 23 onwards. For I receive from the Lord what I pass, also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup in, is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Thank you. <clears throat> 